Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Self Love with Self Care. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, we're going to see about what are the important reasons of we suffering from acne, pimples, zits, and what not. But in, before getting into the video, let us understand why and what is the actual reason of we going through all these issues on our skin. In the form of startingly as a teenager, there will be a lot of hormone changes which is happening in overall our body. That may be due to our lifestyle or our eating healthy habits, whether you are eating healthy or not. So the lifestyle changes I mean is in the gender differences as men and women also matters a lot. Now these hormone changes will be developing by the age and the toxins actually releases. Then you can actually see the acne and the burst out happening. So these lifestyle and eating habits matter a lot. When you are coming to the matter of going to schools or colleges, a lot of people do not take a good enough water which actually our body requires helps to not release the existing toxins in our body by which we get to and tend to suffer from a lot of acne. The next point here I would like to talk about is about stress. Because of stress also there is a point that a lot of people suffer from acne. This is not completely true, it is not half true because of when you are suffering from hormones which releases in our body and because of this even the other hormone changes also happen. So this is the main factor that when people is suffering from you know, any anxiety issues or stress issues you can see a lot of uh, acne or pimple appearing on your skin. The other factor here comes with age like at the age by you cross the age of 30 or 35 there is a thing that you know your pimples get reduced but this may be not completely true. Because 25 to 35% of men and women who are suffering from obesity also have these hormone changes happening. So this is not exactly true that after the certain age your pimples get reduced. It may but it is not as sure. There is another misconception that because of dust you get to get a lot of pimples. That's not true because a person who is having large open pores does not actually wash their face from the deep it's not possible even in our daily lives so the dust get settled on our skin and due to our low water intake it the dust blocks it on our face and it is very difficult to clean daily so this comes to get simple but not because of dust a lot of people who think that you know when you're having a lot of pimple or acne skin if you're going to on your face i have not get to tend to do a lot of patients but that is not a good idea recommend you to go to facial that means help you to some extent but that is not an exact solution or a permanent solution to clean your face. Facial treatment also includes when you go in out it also uses a lot of chemicals which actually are not good for your health. So to see this skin when you suffering for acne it has a natural application which actually helps not only calm down your skin but also helps to soothe down your skin and clean the gentle moisture in your face because of a lot of inflammation for 10 to 30 minutes and wash your face the next step immediately after doing this you need to do is take you have to take a good steam because when you give a natural steam to your face it helps to open your pores and remove the waste from your skin and it removes the natural oil which is excess in sebum and drains out all the excess 
uh, you know the impurities whichever it is in skin and it clears your skin reduces its inflammation and helps you to naturally absorb the natural ingredients which you're putting in onto your skin so this natural ingredients really helps you to smoothen your skin once you complete taking the steaming onto your face the next immediate process which you need to do is take some multani mixture mix it with, with some curd or milk whatever your skin suits just apply it on all over your skin not only the area of pimple all over your skin and allow it to stay for a good 15 minutes so by this you help your skin to have a good blood supply and it gives nutrition to your skin your skin condition slowly improves a lot and this has a natural base so another point here is do not prick your pimple because that is the most important thing but once you start pricking your pimple the blood goes you know get irritated and it you have a lot of inflammation in that part of your body so get the other of these two points in order to get this natural skin so guys this was the video i hope you like the information which is given here if you do like please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will come up with such interesting topics and i hope this will really help thank you so much for giving your time and watching this video if you find this content useful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll meet you up in another interesting video. I'm going to take care of yourselves. Have a nice time. Be helpful. Be nice. Thank you so much. Bye bye.